Good morning, mighty mighty Rams. Thank you for watching today. And today we have our special guest, uh, Jorge Morales, aka known as El Kilguero. Thank you for guys, thank you guys for watching, and I know you're a busy man, so thank you too. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you. So, my, sorry, I'm gonna get into some questions. Uh, my my first question is, what was the most meaningful song you ever did? I think the most meaningful song that I did was uh, a corrido called Jorge Casares. And definitely for me that song was the most important because that's kind of the song that gave me the opportunity to have things that maybe I never had in life, you know. I do come from a, a, a family that uh, my parents worked hard, they had multiple jobs, uh, but we only had the basics which was food on a plate, a place to live. Uh, obviously that's the most important thing, but as a kid growing up, uh, you want to have the cool shoes, the nice clothes and all that. Uh, fortunately, um, over the years working hard with this music, I was able to, to do all those things and then you realize that it's not the most important thing, you know, but I think definitely that song was the most meaningful to me. Thank you. Um, other question, how do, how do you like write your music? It depends, it depends the mood. Um, I've had situations where maybe it's been a heartbreak, uh, other situations where I'm writing a song for a specific person. Uh, because I know them, they're a friend, or sometimes because they pay me to write music for them, you know, so um, I write just depending on the situation, if I'm about to record an album, then I try to focus on a, on a big idea of the album uh, and kind of work from there. I think as an artist you have to have the bigger idea uh, to be able to promote right, to be able to um, properly create videos and content for each song that you're recording, so it just depends on, on the mood and the situation. Uh, I know that you and your brother uh, have your own record label. How was that? Like how, how were you feeling when you guys did that? It, it's definitely something new um, to be able to be part of the actual production of every artist that comes into to the record label. Uh, it's not just signing people because they, they, they sound good or you know they're, they're good at it. I think music has evolved so much where things are different now. You have to definitely have a certain type of swag style. You have to have your own uh, something that people can identify you your with. Personality? personality style. It's a little bit of everything you know. Back in the days it was like oh he sounds good. He, he writes good music but now I think it's more. There's a lot more artists that um, they go off of the numbers, they might have a big following on, on social media, so it, it just depends now. It, it's more of um, what you bring to, to the table besides just the music. Um, how was it, like, I'm, I'm going to hear like, your childhood, like, as a young age, how was it growing up in South Central? It was tough. I was one of those kids that went to school that probably was the one that sat on the bench by myself. You know, I was very shy, I was very scared to meet new people. Um, that was uh, definitely hard times, you know. Um, obviously, you weren't the best dressed, you weren't the most handsome. I was, I've always been kind of heavy, you know, so that definitely was hard. But I think like anything, you have to kind of overcome those things. Um, if you are one of those persons that's shy to talk in front of people, then you just have to act like there's no one there. You know, you have to be yourself, express yourself, which I think is very important. You know, a lot of us kind of hold back, but I think in life you have to just go all out. You know? uh, I noticed in your, like, your Instagram, because I follow you there, that uh, like you're pushing like people to like lose weight. You're doing, you do your own stuff too? I am doing that for the simple reason that I know how, how hard it is, you know. Um, there's a lot of things that are hard, but for me, I think over the years that's been the top subject that I've struggled with. Uh, I, at one point, I was 340 pounds. Um, I was wearing size 46 pants. Uh, definitely, you get the people that'll uh, talk bad about you, criticize you, and all that. But I think it's uh, it's all up to you. You know, you could be the biggest, heaviest person, and if you just feel so good about yourself and that's what you're transmitting to people and it doesn't matter you know but it, it, it takes a strong mind to realize that and my uh, idea for doing that is just to cause awareness that uh, we could be healthier we could take care of ourselves but at the end of the day 
the way you feel is what matters. What people say, you know, you can't stop people from criticizing. You can't stop people from commenting on you. But you just have to have tough skin and not, in other just ways, not give up. You know. Just do you and everything. Yeah, exactly. What advice would you give kids or like, like teens or anything like uh, that are trying to make it in the, the music industry? I would definitely say, um, don't, don't think that uh, you joining the music industry, you're just gonna have money and 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 you know a lot of people do it because uh, uh initially when i started i did it also because i was like maybe if i'm famous I'll, I'll get more girls you know i mean do it because you love something definitely when you do something whether it's playing sports whether it's uh, a hobby um, behind the camera whatever it is you have to do it because you love it that's when everything comes out natural and i think that's when you pretty much uh make things a lot bigger you know sometimes yeah. people force things and it, it, it's not natural so definitely if you do something with love and, and dedication then it's just the best thing all that inspired you to make music um yeah just wanting to to be someone that people maybe admired or, or someone that um uh, my parents are old school they like the traditional norteño and all that and um Initially, when I started in the music industry, the reason why I started was because my brother had a record deal, and we got the opportunity to be able to, to hey, my mom said, my other son sings too. I had never sang, no, I was into Easy e Snoop Dogg, Tupac. The rest. So when she said that, it was kind of like, you know what, this is an opportunity for you to maybe uh, make some money. And, and that was re really the reason why we got into the music. Um, over time, you know, I fell in love with the music and with everything that comes with it. And um, it's, it's honestly, it's one of the best decisions that I, that I made. You know what I'm asking? Uh, when, wait, when did you begin uh, singing? And like, when did you notice that like, you were making it? You're getting noticed. Well, I started when I was 14. Um, I was 14, I wanna say that I finished my first album when I was 15. Um, that studio burned down so I had to record again and when I recorded again that album went number one and I was uh, 16 and a half when I was able to to buy my first house so um, uh, it's I think it's like anything you just do it with love and dedication and things work out you know how, how they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, do you got anything to say to your fans or like anybody watching? I just to anyone that has ever listened to any of my music or you know seen me that follows me I just want to thank you because you guys are the reason why we do it um, definitely when you go out into the street and you have someone recognize you that's me knowing that all the hard work the sacrifices is, is coming to a point where maybe one day we will be on, on big stages you know we're blessed enough to be able to have a lot of big artists in our label um, but I think it's another step being able to be that artist that's on tour and all that so I mean it, it, it's just working hard admiring people being very respectful and always appreciate what what uh, everyone does you know um, my, one of my final questions is what, uh, you got any projects coming up or music, music I have my thing is always just be consistent just uh, work and everything so I'm doing music you know um, I, I do videos we have a clothing line coming out we are um, also bringing out some jewelry during that we also um, like to go on tour with uh, we have an artist Peso Pluma who's on the label so I try to go on tour and kind of get motivation from him you know because he is a younger he does have a younger following so it's just kind of like learning. Uh, I don't think I've gotten to that point where I've made it. I still love to go out and learn from other talents that are bringing in new ideas. So it's just, uh, uh, I have that mindset. I haven't made it. It's just, I'm working hard to get to that point where one day, maybe someone will tell me that I made it, but I think I would never get to the point where I know um, that I, I would say I made it. Like you're still pushing to do more every day every day you got to get up I mean whether it's you have a, a, a business cutting yards every day you have to work towards your goals um, the only way to learn is uh, failing I failed in this industry so many times um, there's been points where I had no money to buy milk for my kids you know um, but 
you just have to have that drive to push. People will put you down. People will down talk you and criticize your work. But the majority of the people that are doing that is people that would never be able to fit your shoes. So you just got to work hard. Thank you. Um, well, those are my, all my questions. I'd like to thank you one more time for coming out. I know you have a really busy schedule. You're such a nice person. It was an honor meeting you. I hope I could do more shows with you later on. Thank you, guys. Um, it's uh, the honor's mine. You know, being able to come back uh, to one of the cities that has a lot to do with my career, Southgate, and, and with all you guys that are the future, you know, it's a pleasure to be here, and, and hopefully it's not the last time. Hopefully not. I'll try to get you out on more shows. Hopefully we can get you and your brother out for the career day. Definitely. I'd like to thank you guys for coming for watching our show today.